CBDC is one type of digital dollar that is released by the government. It would be controlled by the Federal Reserve and have the full support of the U.S. government. This could be an option to the ways people currently pay for things. It would have benefits like instant payment settlement, the ability to do business across borders and helping more people get access to money. It's being looked into by more than 130 countries. Digital coins backed by the government. Uh, there are already pilot projects running in China, Russia, Saudi Arabia and India. As early as 2028, a digital euro pilot could begin. The US, on the other hand, is still a long way behind, even though there is more and more knowledge about digital car features. The speed at which XRP has grown has been amazing, far beating what was expected at first. An important new discovery is coming up soon. The US government is likely to start taking XRP as a form of payment for services in the US. Some people used to think this wasn't likely to happen, but recent statements from well-known lawmakers have changed our minds. Hello, CoinGraph market family. Welcome back to the place you know you can trust for all things XRP. Uh, there are a few things we need to do before we start with today's programming. Please hit that like button for me. To join our lively group, click subscribe and make sure that notifications are turned on. Wait a minute, there's something exciting about to happen. We are getting ready for a huge XRP gift when we reach 7,000 subscribers. It's very easy to enter the giveaway. Just follow these three simple steps. Make sure you're ready and don't forget to leave a hash coin graph market in the comments to make sure you get in. The person who was shown at the beginning of this movie. A well-known lawmaker has pushed hard for the United States to use CBDC, a central bank digital currency built on the XRP system. This move fits with the goals of the BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. These countries plan to work with Ripple to create a global CBDC using the XRP system. It is well known that Ripple has ties to the governments and banking systems of the BRICS countries. These ties hold a lot of promise for the future of global finance. It's clear that these changes are happening and the growing speculation about XRP's value shows that. After a Forbes article called The New Bitcoins XRP said that XRP could hit $59,472, it was taken down. Talks about XRP's possibilities went through the roof. There are people who think that $60,000 per XRP is too high a price. So I think that a more realistic and reasonable price for XRP, especially after it is used by global central banks and CBDCs, would be between $10,000 and $35,000. Some of the most important financial experts, analysts and leaders from well-known companies like Wells Fargo and Wall Street have changed how they think about XRP. This is truly amazing. Many people were skeptical of XRP at first, but now a high value for XRP is becoming more and more popular as a natural result, given how important it is for central banks to settle digital currencies. This makes even more sense when you consider that Ripple and XRP were created to make it easier for CBDCs to settle. What's most interesting is how the US government has changed its mind. At first, there was disagreement about what XRP was, with people arguing about whether it was a legal asset or a security. However, there has been a big change in this point of view. Additionally, the United States not only agrees that XRP is a real digital asset, but they also want to use it in official government activities. This is about to change, though, as the U.S. government publicly labels XRP as a non-security and adds it to government systems. Recent events in the U.S. Congress have changed how people think about XRP in a big way. Um, some people in Congress have said that XRP shouldn't be considered digital security, but rather a digital asset. This designation is a major change in how the United States laws treat XRP. Uh, the Federal Reserve has also said again that it wants to use XRP around the world in line with the ISO 4217 standard. According to reports we've gotten, it said that the U.S. would start using XRP on December 31st, 2023, which is just a few days away. As the holidays approach, a popular topic I've heard from XRP holders is how they plan to get out of the market. When are they going to sell their XRP? A lot of people think that XRP could go up to $1,000 or even $10,000. So they are going to stay firm until these price points are reached. There's no doubt, though, that not everyone will stick to this plan. Many people are tempted to sell their home or expensive car early in order to get something nice right away. Here's where an important piece of advice comes in. You shouldn't sell your XRP until it reaches the goal you set for it. Do not give in to the urge to sell too soon. A lot of people in the Bitcoin market are looking forward to what the word explosion means. A big jump with the possibility of a 100x increase in value. Recent moves by the SEC, especially in the last 24 hours, have been very important in this changing environment. Every company that makes spot Bitcoin ETFs has been in talks with the SEC. It is clear what they want. In their filings, these producers need to change from in-kind redemptions to cash creations only. This is not just another round of talks. The choice has been made. The specifics are being worked on right now. Head of the SEC, Gary Gensler, seems to be in charge of these changes and is at the center of it all. Taking into account the fees and other financial parts of Bitcoin ETFs, his actions point to a plan to help Wall Street allies. Gensler is well aware that the choices he makes can literally give the market the go-ahead. This situation feels like a story that was planned ahead of time and is playing out exactly as planned. This is shown by this chart from 2015, which backs it up. 
This pattern clearly shows a reverse curve, which means that altcoins will soon change from red to green. As the market cap is about to go through a parabolic rise, it's possible that institutional money will help fuel this trend. It is hard to believe how much money is sitting on the wings. With the acceptance of ETFs, the market could get up to $30 trillion. It's not just growth, it is a huge change that will affect all cryptocurrencies in the future. Gary Gensler's acts at the SEC have been a main focus of the changes taking place in the cryptocurrency market. But a lot of people think it's just filler. He has been focused on well-known cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Ripple and calling them troublesome. Let's look at Algorand instead, though. The SEC is telling a very different story than the truth because the price has tripled since October. It was as low as eight cents only two months ago, but now it has gone through the roof. This pattern says that something that is being seen as a problem may actually be something that takes attention away from bigger changes. As we look ahead to 2024, the story is very clear. Tokenization, central bank digital currencies, and CBDC will be the only things that matter. This is made even stronger by Ripple's latest confirmation that around $30 trillion is about to enter the market. January 10th is a very important date, and I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure of it. Also important historical events are about to happen in both the US and world markets. Uh, the things that politicians like Biden and Trump do and say, especially about the world, adding digital assets to their money methods, these events point to a positive future for the market. As election season approaches, more attention will likely be paid to cryptocurrencies and digital finance, bringing more people and money into this quickly changing area. The changes that have happened in the BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa stand out. In their own currencies, they are dealing more than $500 billion right now. Native digital assets like XRP, which runs on the XRPL network, and XLM, which runs on the Stellar network, are in high demand because of this. And it has been decided that these digital assets are essential for making these large-scale deals possible. On a different note, Argentina is becoming more interested in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which is adding to the global trend toward digital banking. Also, six new countries, the UAE, Iran, Argentina, Egypt, and Ethiopia, have been asked to join the BRICS alliance. This is a big change. This growth shows how important it is to have digital assets that work well to handle the huge $500 billion in currency transfers. A new twist is that a leaked memo from BlackRock shows that they plan to use XRP for cross-border payments. This is yet another major endorsement of XRP's usefulness in the global financial landscape. Also, SWIFT has said that it has made a lot of progress this year toward ISO 2002 compliance, which is a standard that is very important for the use of CBDCs and tokenized assets. Also, what projects are on the cutting edge of CBDCs and tokenized CBDCs and tokenized assets? We are about to go through a huge change in the way money works, so this question is very important.